Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever. Uh, we've been expanding quite a bit recently and uh, and long may that continue. Uh, you know, to expand is to, is to live. Um, so we're just outside Warren, uh, centre of the known world and, you know, this is about as busy as it gets. It's, um, yeah, it's, there's plenty going on here. As you can see, this, this chap's got a first class carriage at the end. Um, and it's oh so very busy, and uh, and at some point we're going to make sure that we're actually, you know, doing something sensible with all these passengers. New truck has just become available. Yeah, interesting. Okay, now, there are a lot of choices with regards to what we do next, um, and, uh, and I've evaluated most of them. Uh, airports, is it time to get the airports going again? Not quite. Not quite. So, I mean, airports, I will switch back on. Or rather, I will I will staff back up when there is a reason for anybody to visit San Bernardino and Santa Rosa. And at the moment, there just isn't. I would need to create uh, a goods network up there to create uh, jobs or commercial or anything along those lines that might actually give someone a reason to visit. Because right now, they don't have it. Once I've got that built, uh, a workable uh, air network, air route, whatever you want to describe it as, uh, should be relatively straightforward. Last time around we built uh, Jacksonville to Phoenix here, and it's um, it's a bit slow. I mean, I mean that's going to be down to two things. I mean, firstly, it's never been touched, uh, but uh, more than that, it's got nothing coming into it. And I've only got two trains on there. If I had a third train on there, it might pick up a little more. Um, but I've only got two trains on, uh, and it's just not a very busy route. So I want to make that a little bit more lively. So today, we're going to connect Boston to Phoenix. Right, now, coming out of Boston itself, I've got, I mean, I've got four stations to play with. Now, I, I, I doubt there'll ever be a point at which I've got more than four routes running out of Boston. Um, that's okay, you know, we, we don't need to have more routes going out of Boston than that. So each bo uh, each route can have its own dedicated platform. Um, and each platform, if I wanted it to, could turn into uh, a double track setup all its own. However, it's not going to do that because we've got, as you can see, these two trains came in on different platforms because they're different routes. You are the Central and you are Boston Pembroke Pines. Um, yeah, two different routes using the same section of track, and uh, and that's quite all right. And at some point, in fact, I suspect the very next video, we'll, uh, we'll go into depth with regard to what we mean by auto spacing, first off, because... Uh, there is a there is a clear you know open warfare is beginning in the comment section with regard to yes it is auto spacing I mean, no it's it's not uh, and I think that's that's purely down to definitions chums uh, making use of signals is not auto spacing not in not in my jo do dojo anyway let's uh, let's crack on let's get to work and let's figure out a good way of getting this done now. We can go from Boston. We could hang a very aggressive right, and then swing up in a in a you know fairly relaxed fashion and come in over here. Now, option one, uh, or and I don't like option two. Option two, we go we go up and then round, and then down the far end. The reason I don't like option two is because it's actually further away. You know, if you consider how how the crow might fly from Boston to Phoenix, we don't want to go further than that, if uh, if at all possible. Um, right, so we're going to uh, we're going to take the aggressive turn, but I'm going to upgrade the track before doing so. Uh, I think that the you know the time has pretty much come where just about every track we do is going to need electrification, even if it's not got an electrified route on there. Uh, as it's as it's kind of bread and butter. So uh, you know, I've got plenty of money for this. The, the only thing I don't have plenty of money for is the train. Uh, we're going to need to stick on it. Trains, plural, um, because uh, they're pricey. They're expensive. In fact, at this stage, where are we? Nineteen ninety-five. They're very expensive. So right, let's stick that over there now. We have a choice, because we're on a raised bank. 
because I need to get to just the other side of that brickworks there. So just about there is where I want to get to to cut through the hill. Uh, I, I could take a more direct route and plumb straight through the side of this mountain, but uh, the longer the tunnel, the more it costs. And, uh, and I don't want to be paying the same amount for a tunnel that I could have bought another train for. Now, we'll take a very aggressive corner here, which I don't like. Uh, but this is the place to do it. If you're going to do aggressive cornering, do it right at the start. In fact, let's go get across there. You've, you have curved too far. I don't need to curve that far. Something like that would be about right. There you go. That's good. Now, uh, at the moment, the uh, the track we're crossing here is unused. See, I wanted to, you know, despite the fact we've, you know, we've built ourselves something pretty ugly earthwork-wise, uh, I wanted something that crossed at ground level, more or less, so that we don't cause a a dip in the track of the one that we're we're basically just crossing out straight over the centre of. And, you know, not not two months ago, you know, this would have come to me as, as some kind of voodoo, the ability to uh, to cross over a, a strip of track, but uh, now, take it for granted. Just kind of go, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Crossing over a strip of track. Absolutely. Uh, right. Let's build this as high speed from the get-go, shall we? Have you thought this through? Yeah, you totally have. Okay, fine. And then let's pull this off to run it in parallel. There we are. Now, this also leaves that, that final platform open uh, for, uh, well, for any other service I decide might want to run into it, should the need arise. Um, and, uh, and we can keep all of that working rationally with a good set of signals. Right, okay. Well, this is this is nice and flat. That, that'll keep it relatively cheap for a little while. And then we're going to come up on this next bit, which is going to be anything but relatively cheap. Now, if I can get through there for under... I don't know, what's, what's reasonable? For under, for under 5 million. Really? That's quite an aggressive corner you put on there. Can you not, uh, can you not gen gentle it a little more? Well, we don't want to lose speed unless we absolutely have to. Yeah, you see, 159, that's, that's losing quite a bit. Get to the hillside. There you are. Yeah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Now, I suspect I might have a, a minor fight on my hands at the other end uh, when it comes to getting it onto the onto the the track that the onto the line that's going into Phoenix. Um, so I might, yeah. Well, as is typical, I'll do that now. Yeah. Okay. So, firstly, this is sunken, which is uh, going to prove tricky. And then, where are we going to come out? I suspect, well, if we aim to come out just the other side of this coal mine and then merge on up here somewhere. Now, the downside to this is uh, is that this is going to it potentially, probably, no, pretty much certainly, interrupt the flow of the stuff I'm running on there already. So let's have a look and see if an upgrade is viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just get out of the way and let me evaluate. We'd need to do stuff with the road over here, but I think that's all it's interrupting. You're complaining about that bit as well, for reasons I'm not entirely certain of. I'd need to relay this track. You know what? We'll chance it, and we'll we'll uh, we'll let the signalling uh, sort out any problems that we may have. Now, I don't need this route to go to Jacksonville as well. Uh, you know, as much as, sorry Jacksonville, you know, you're, you're going to remain a little bit isolated. Um, you know, straight off like that. 
162. Yeah, 162 we can probably cope with. Just want to make sure I've got the line right going past this coal plant. About there. There we go. Yes, oh, this is all very familiar. I've built one of these before. Yes, okay, fine. And then, uh, the same with this one. Nope, you are too close. Go from there. There it is. Easy now. Good. Well, actually, that was that's going to work out, you know, possibly a little better than I'd anticipated, or at least hoped for. Right. Okay. Well, we did, we'll let's get let's get a price check on this. Uh, let's delete this primary route before we do so. Otherwise, it's going to it's going to put a kink in my track, and we can't have that. Right. To equally, I don't want to adjust the height. Uh, at all. I don't want to start going up this hill because otherwise you end up building a combination bridge tunnel. And that's very expensive. Right, 3.14. That's cheap enough that I'm going to take it without argument. Well, you say cheap. All right, inexpensive. Um, not overpriced. Do you have the whatever language makes you the most comfortable? Also, uh, we've connected that up in a way that is not ideal. But I'm through the tunnel, so we'll keep the expensive bit and we'll rework the cheaper bit. There you go, that should give me enough, enough swoop so that uh, we can make it look like it was intentional. There we are. See? Makes it look like it was intentional. Excellent. Right, well, that was painless. Um, there we go, Boston connected to Phoenix. Now, the next challenge here... Uh, yeah, the, the, the next challenge is going to be getting some signals. <laughs> challenge. Uh, getting some stig signals and, and sticking them on. Now, which side are you going into? You like going into that side. So we want to come in on the other side, which is fine. We've got a diamond there, so that's that's all perfectly viable. So we'll start, and I, I will do a full signaling tutorial, but I'll, I'll talk you through the thinking, right? So I've stuck a, a waypoint. Now, waypoint you add on your route, and it tells people which side of the, you know, which track you want them to go on. This is particularly helpful if you use any kind of a backing service whatsoever. So, a, a, you know, like this chap just did, comes in, goes back out. Sometimes you want them in one side of the platform, the other times, other times you might not. Um, in terms of individual routes. What you can't do is, uh, or what rather won't happen, is trains won't make their own mind up. When you're initially putting a route in, certainly trains will make their mind up, or the route will make its mind up, as to which platform it feels is most appropriate. But it's going to go to the one you tell it to go to, or the one it chooses to go to, it will never change from that platform until you mess around with the route later on. I'm really butchering this by way of explanation. Uh, next up, the, the game works in terms of blocks of track. All right? Now, a block of track is in between two bits of signal. Stations implicitly have a bit of signal attached to them. Right? So this signal here is a block on this, on this main line uh, that extends back to here. So, if there is any train in that block, another one will not enter. As you'll see, there's one in there right now, signals on red. As soon as it departs that block, which it will do any second, ding, 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 the signal turn green, which will allow another train to enter. Any second, any second now, any second, that train will, uh, will leave the block. Train has left, the, I bet my new track is, uh, is interfering with that block. There you go. See, that should have been that should have been much more artistically done. But anyway, one train per block is the basic rule. And now, because this guy is basically blocking off the whole of this section, this signal is going to stay red. And once it clears up past, and let's do this in a hurry, 
just because, you know, seeing the signal turn green is going to be, you know, a minor pleasure. Should still be good, unless they've changed it. Unless they've changed it so that it only flips green if the uh, if the track is free to proceed on and uh, and there's nothing in the block. Because that train's gone. It's out of here. Hey, I, I, I don't know how we'll find out. Let's place a signal. So I, I, I perplex myself here. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Now defaults to red. And it will only flip to green at the last second. Oh well, uh, so be it. Um, right, well, I mean, I, I imagine that is a little bit more like, uh, like reality. Now, I'm going to remove this signal here because at the moment it's creating a block. Uh, or rather, it's in the middle of a block. And potentially a long train coming in there could block this set of points. Now, that in itself is not too big a deal because the only stuff that is going to use those points is going in that direction. So it's not going to create a, an, an unruly jam. So actually, I will leave that where it is. Yeah, I know. It, this upsets people greatly because you're never supposed to block points by using signals. Uh, similarly, uh, this one right here... Uh, I'm use, I'm gonna uh, that's going to block the the diamond further down as well but I'm gonna leave it in place because it shouldn't be blocking anything in such a way that uh, that actually stops the network running correctly right anyway let's finish this off and then stick a train down it and I'll do a, I'll do a proper a proper walkthrough of uh, of how signaling works in the next video. Uh, I'll probably have to start on a fresh map or save up for quite a bit because the, the in order to show it off I need a whole bunch of trains and a whole bunch of track and a whole bunch of signals and trains are pretty expensive why is that being quite so horrible stop it there we go look just stone me I mean, you know this is this isn't I'm not asking you to, you know, tarmac the Paris Dakar Rally. Rally? Oh, well. Uh, right, good. Next signal set. Uh, and the reason I put my like, stick signal sets up is to create more blocks. More blocks mean more trains can go on there. And the way that I like to run my railroad is I want to make sure that everything is moving at all times because the closer it can get to its destination before being stopped, uh, the uh, the closer it is to its destination. Right now, this is going to be a going to be an interesting one. So I can't stick another signal in here because look at this. So anything, any if I block anything here, I could bring stuff to a, to a halt. Even though I'm not using these lines at the moment, there is a high chance I, I'll find something for them in the future. Um, where do I need one? So what I want here is I want a release signal. Now, when I say release signal, this is also a, a complete nonsense. It's not something that exists in the real world. Uh, but it does, if, in this game, if you use blocks. Basically, this release signal means that when a train moves out of this block, this train releases it, this signal, it releases it into the next block. Thereby, therefore, allowing something else to enter this one. There you are. Uh, last up, do I really want a signal there? Actually, that might be a terrible place to put it. And the reason it might be a terrible place to put it is because I want to give priority to passenger over goods. There we are. So the, the goods line we cross over there is going to give way to the, to the passenger service. Right, I don't think there's much more I can do with that. Let's uh, let's uh, let's throw some train down it. Uh, actually, let's set the route up first and see where it wants to go. Right, so we got a we got a pink route in there right now. I want something that's going to show up. I think this uh, this olive green, or possibly even olive yellow, is the uh, is the the name of the game. 
Phoenix to Boston. There we go. Now, I mean, the other the other track, tra oh, the other line I should potentially consider is doing a a, a Boston or a, an Indianapolis over to Salem. Um, but I'll I'll evaluate that later. Let's let's finish the job at hand. There we go. So you can already see that uh, it's opted to go onto the same platform as the existing service. So by sticking uh, just so basically, oh, well, I can put this anywhere. But if we stick this. Right there. It's going to use that side of the platform. Always will. And it will do until I either uh, change it in the, 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 the route setup or uh, or I mess around with the route. Messing around with the route may make your, uh, your route itself um, adjust its, its decision making. Just letting you know. Didn't we decide this was PHX? That's the kind of thing I'd decide. Okay, good. Right, look, that's that's ready to rock and roll. Let's put up. Where did I build the depot? Over here. Oh, of course, I built it down the other end. Well, I can still use this one. This one's still perfectly viable. Um, right now, I'm going to need two. I think two or three, possibly more trains on there. Now, I wonder. I wonder. Maybe we can get a we can get a two for one. In the sense of uh, two birds, one stone. Uh, right. What are you? Central line. Now, central line's not carrying very much. Also, let's have a quick look at ages of trains. There you go. Now you're in the earners, the central line. It's an 11-year age on average. West Coast Main Line is 21 years on average. Where's Boss Pem? Thank you. As if by magic. 25 years. So Boss Pem's actually quite old. You are my target. What have you got on there? You've got four regular metro liners. Ha. Huh. Okay. Why am I thinking this again? The the reason I'm thinking that oh hold on, Boss Pem is less well used than the central line, maybe. Hold on. What are you what are you on? I I've got a thought going on and I'm not entirely sure whether I'm having it correctly or not. Oh yeah, yeah, I am. Right, okay, thank you. Yes, I have now flushed out my brain. I know what I'm thinking. Alright, okay, so I need, in order for this to work, I need a viable depot. Ha. Huh. It's nicely busy coming in and out of Boston. Even these, you know, ratty little things. I mean, but the, the, I mean, the real weakness in the late game is it rules out using so many different engines, so many different locomotives, consists, carriages, the rest of it, that you end up running the same stuff on just about everything. There, are, there are more trains still to come, and I will probably end up using some of them. But even so, uh, right, you're a central line. You are, I suspect, a boss pem. There we are. Now let's just pause for a moment how am I going to make this work how indeed am I going to make this work oh, that could be that could be entertaining but it, it, it doesn't really matter though if you haven't got a depot anywhere nearby alright well where's the shared depot that these two would be able to play with it's got to be up here, right? In which case, how are you going to do any kind of a track transition between the two? So this one would almost work if I could if I could get all the way across, which you can, of course. Okay, right. In that case, let's. Uh, how shall we do this? Something like uh, this is going to be tricky. This could this could result in a bit of a mess. 
Uh, shouldn't result in disaster, though. There we go, into there. Sure it's possible. Sure it's possible. There you go, look, I want you to do that. No, not what you're trying to do. No, 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 no. Uh, let's try going from there. Out a bit. Over some. That's that's looking good. That you you had it. I saw it. Like that. I'm pretty sure that's it. What's going on here? Okay, no, that looks like it's still working. Yeah, this all looks about right. I mean, it's crazy, but it looks about right. Okay, right, now, you... Uh, hold on, wait for it. You, what are you? You are... You're a central line. Clear off, go, leave. This one, here, right. Go to a depot, which you should be able to do now. I know, I just threw away quite a lot of money. You should be able to take this branch and head into the depot. Are you waiting for one of these uh, ratty little diesels to get past? Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're going to do that quite a bit, so let's, let's create another block there. I mean, the other thing, of course, is how old is this track? It's 25 years old, so it's not actually got that much life left in it. Right, now, I don't even need it to go to the depot. All I needed it to do was to get onto this line uh, so that I can switch it on to Boston Phoenix. All right, and uh, off you go. Yeah, that's what we're going to do with that. So here's the here's the plan, right? Is instead of spending money on um, uh, on new metro liners, I will reuse the ones I've already got, and instead I will buy a new service or possibly more to go on the uh, on the Boston Pembroke, Pemberton, Pembrose. That that thing that I need more trains on, we'll stick them on there. And it's going to be, we're going to go with an AMD, possibly. The other choice is this General Electric number. Uh, it's this 174 a year. 195 a year. Mm, 174 a year is less. What's your top speed? 140. And your top speed is 160. This would seem to be a complete marriage made in heaven. Uh, right, 10 million versus 11 million. I think we have a winner. Let's go with some kind of sultry turquoise on this one. Right. And then let's stick some carriages on it. There we go. Buy it. 132. No, keep going. 231. That's the number. That's the one. Go Boston, Pembrokeshire. Pemsy, whatever it's called. There we go. I'll stick it on there. Boston Phoenix. Why are you? Why are you go so slow, train? Why are you going so slowly? Put your foot down. Is it just because I've got used to playing the game at, at, at a ridiculous speed? Yeah, potentially. In fact, not even potentially. Probably almost certainly is. Anyway, there we go. Uh, there's the new train look. Isn't it amazing? Yes, I know. Uh, there's the new train. Isn't it amazing? Now, I think these double-decker cars are a bit daft in appearance. They don't look natural with anything. They look a bit off. No matter, no matter what you're, uh, what you're running on it, it does look a bit strange. But you can't argue with a passenger capacity of two thirty-one. You, well, you can try, but I would, I'm not going to. I'm not going to engage in that argument. 
Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oi, Ratty Diesel. What the hell are you doing over here? You are a thousand miles away from the correct course. Then at this, there you go. See, look, this is what I was talking about. This airport shuttle has now taken it upon itself to change its route. Oh my god, that's a lousy route. You're going to be blocking everything. Boston Waypoint 1, it shouldn't even do that. Oh no. It wouldn't do that if I had a waypoint up the other end. There we go. See, so when I started mucking around with things, it it, it got the, the notion of actually, I quite fancy going a different way. There you go. Do your work properly. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find a trying to find a good vantage point to uh, to view this chap. Everything's getting a little confused as far as signals are concerned. Still, this should make me a hefty amount of cash, and I think as of this moment, it is the uh, it is the the most capacitous train. That I that I have in service. Let's head up to uh, to Warren and see if we get see if we get the shot we want there. Plenty of passengers. Boss Pem's got 209. Well, oh, there's a treat coming for him. I pack him in like sardines. There we go. Right. Anyway, look, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, that route, uh, that new route, needs another train on it. So I'll probably retask another metro liner. And, uh, and then move, uh, or purchase another one of these uh, big electric numbers to go uh, serve. See, see what I mean? It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look how trains are supposed to look in my bag. And it's terribly futuristic and very efficient in terms of the usage of space, but I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. Uh, throw a like at this one if you enjoyed it. And uh, and please do subscribe if you've not yet done so to ensure that uh, that further adventures do, you know, do, don't elude you. Uh, I'll be back uh, very soon with a little more of the same. Uh, where we will be doing goods. Oh, I need to look at the... Oh, I need to teleport. No, I need to look at the adverts on here. Because that's the kind of thing I can mod. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. See you very soon. Cheerio!